Uh, my name is Junbom Kwon, and I'm a po <coughs> po postmaster uh, researcher of Connector Lab from Seoul National University. It's a great honor for me to present to you. <clears throat> I will be introducing SWIFT, my deep learning application uh, trained on brain dynamics of functional MRI. Functional MRI, also referred to as fMRI, are used to observe human brain dynamics across a range of human behaviors. SWIFT allows us to observe relationships and patterns in brain activity from high dimensional fMRI data. The research has been accepted at DRIPS 2023, and you can find preprints in the link below. <clears throat> Before starting my presentation, I want to acknowledge the many researchers and institutions that contributed to this project. Special thanks to Dr. Shinji Yu at Brookhaven National Lab and the NISAP team. Foundation models are an adaptable framework that can be apply to multiple tasks. By transferring the model, uh, by training the model with large scale data sets even once, foundation model can be applied to various downstream tasks via transfer learning. The, this approach is useful when acquiring the level is strenuous, but there are a lot of data sets without labels. <clears throat> if ever since GPT-3 has emerged, Foundation models for vision, NLP, task, climate, and in the medical domain have been developed to solve multiple questions. The objective of our, of our project is to develop a foundation model for brain dynamics, which we call NeuroX. To apply machine learning or deep learning models to fMRI data, we have to collect large numbers of fMRI to solve the specific research questions. However, it is almost impossible for individual researchers to collect thousands of samples to deal with their own research questions. If we can develop a foundation model for brain imaging, we can transfer knowledge from large-scale open source data sets such as UK Biobank, ABCD, and HSP data sets for solving various research questions in neuroscience. As you can see in the slides, fMRI consists of a sequence of volumes. It is a high dimensional data set with low signal to noise ratio. So to increase the noise, signal to noise ratio, previous research in neuroscience has reduced the dimension of fMRI using predetermined brain templates. The performance differ a lot depending on the brain templates. For example, if we use fMRI for children, we have to use unique brain templates for the children. And in addition, feature extraction inevitably causes the loss of information, oh, it's a subtle individual difference. Yeah, <clears throat> difference. Therefore, we expect that deep learning application can extract rich representation from manual, from minimally processed fMRI data set. However, the approach has three requirements. Firstly, we have to prepare 120 terabytes of storage to load 100,000 of fMRI scans. In addition, it requires many GPU resources since our model size should be able to accommodate a large amount of fMRI data set. These two requirements are satisfied by the support of NERSC. However, the last requirement is efficient and scalable model architecture that exhibits high predictive performance. Also, the, pre the performance should consistently increase as the model data size increases. This is why we have developed transformer architecture for fMRI, SWIFT. SWIFT is basically an ex extension of swing transformers. Swing Transformer is an efficient and faster version of Vision Transformer, which features window-based self multi-head self attention. Window-based self multi-head self attention reduces the quadratic computational cost of attention by calculating attention within the window. It allows model focus on local dependencies. 
In addition, these windows are shifted at the latter layers to cover wider la range, which we call shifted multi-head multi subattention. <clears throat> Our 4D version, of win for 4D version of window is defined for both special and temporal dimension to focus on special temporal brain dynamics. As you can see in the figure C, the window is shifted over temporal and special dimensions to change the range of the windows to learn the relationship between the distant brain regions over the time and the special dimensions. <clears throat> so finally, we evaluated the model's performance in biological and cognitive variable prediction tasks, such as sex, age, and intelligence. There are, these variables are fundamental individual traits that is widely used to evaluate model performance in this domain. <laughs> so we compared SWIFT with other baseline models, such as XGBoost, BNT, and TFF. XGBoost is a famous machine learning model. BNT is a state-of-art deep learning application for extracted brain features, and TFF is a con conventional for brain transformers using CNN-based encoder. We tested on HCP and UK Biobank datasets, which include young and the elderly each. In sex classification tasks, SWIFT shows 11% and 5.2% uh, increase in ARC scores compared to feature-based deep neural network. In intelligence prediction tasks, SWIFT showed a small performance gain in mean absolute error. However, it is notable considering that intelligence task is itself a very hard task. In age prediction tasks, SWIFT showed remarkable performance gain compared to the other baseline models. And also SWIFT is more efficient than the existing 4D fMRI transformer as well. Uh, while TFF has shown computer performance as SWIFT in some tasks, uh, SWIFT requires much fewer numbers of parameters, fewer computational costs, and it is also more, much faster. Since XGBoost and BNT utilizes handcrafted features and it requires additional processing steps, the comparison with those models were not included in this slide. And SWIFT showed scalable performance increase with more training data sets. In AB, sex, and age prediction task, it showed 13% and 54% performance increase from 100 samples to 1,000 samples. This uh, 5,000 samples. This suggests that it can be trained effectively with large number of data. In addition, it is notable that the model can predict these variables to some extent, to extent uh, with only 100 samples. Using only 3, 000, uh, 300 fMRI scans, SWIFT outperforms BNT trained with more than 6,000 samples. We also tested scalability of SWIFT with deep speed within per motor. So we could observe that the throughput is proportionally increasing as the number of GPU increases. This result suggested that we can increase the number of GPUs to train our model with extreme scale data sets. We could also observe exploratory brain regions for the prediction. In the figure, we found exploratory brain regions for sex classification. And <clears throat> we could find brain regions in accordance with the previous studies. In both HCP and UKB dataset, brain regions called deferred mode network was exploratory for sex difference. And there were some unique brain regions for each dataset. So <clears throat> it suggests that it could be a reliable and efficient method for interpret brain activities. Yeah, so we have discovered the feasibility of SWIFT as a foundation model. So we are not doing a large-scale pre-training. It requires model parallelism to increase the model parameters. In addition, we have developed pre-training strategies, but uh, it is not included in this slice, but we will include various data sets for pre-training to learn general information. Lastly, we are evaluating SWIFT on various neuroscience tasks, such as brain decoding and clinical application. If the pre-train and transfer approach 
accomplishes, I believe that paradigm for ephemeral research would change totally. Thank you. Can you go back to your slide that showed the GPU scaling? Yep. So on average, how many samples are you training a model on? So um, uh, in average, um, 8,000 samples are trained for, yeah, for the one epoch. Okay. And yeah, but it, the, the whole sequence is divided into subsequences to make model accommodate the large scale data set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.